Hello and welcome to the SciFest Movie Talk episode. In this episode, I'm just going to the 2019 Blue Sky Animation Studios animated action adventure spy comedy, Spies in Disguise, as directed by Troy Quain and Nick Bruno, and based loosely on the short 2009 animated feature Pigeon Impossible by Lucas Martel. We meet Walter Beckett, as voiced by Tom Holland, a quirky scientist working for a government agency, HTUV, on tech for use by its agents in the field. However, Walter has a reputation for being, well, a little weird. Um, his inventions always take the non-lethal approach, with cuddle bubbles, glitter bombs, subliminal caps, and uh, being just some of his kind of weapons of choice, shall we say. Walter then gets his chance to show the agency what his inventions can do when he unexpectedly gets the opportunity to work with the agency's top spy, Lance Sterling, as voiced by Will Smith, after he is falsely accused of working for the enemy, one Tristan Killian McFord, as voiced by Ben Mendelsohn. Oh, and one other thing. In Lance's attempt to go into hiding, Walter inadvertently turns him into a pigeon. Yes, indeed. A pigeon. Together, both Lance and Walter, and indeed a new pigeon posse, use Walter's unique outlook, style, and amazing array of quirky gadgets to track down Killian in order to clear Lance's name, and indeed save the identity of every other agent in the HTUV from being revealed and ultimately terminated. Now, I must admit up front that the idea of this film sounded absolutely ludicrous. A film about spies transforming into pigeons just sounded absolutely ridiculous. And yes, it is. But the film is both mad enough and committed enough to pull this off. And it is just simply awesome as a result through and through. It was actually, all in all, quite a decent spy movie. Some great action, suspense, fast cars, a completely over-the-top and elaborate villain, and indeed an absolute array of fantastic gadgets, all wrapped nicely into a completely haphazard and madcap adventure. It's a very slick and energetic production, which has been wonderfully styled against some very sharp and enticing animation. The story is offbeat, but the overall diabolical villain backstory is not too dissimilar from others we've seen before, nor the story of a new friendship forged in the face of adversity, but indeed, it is of course the way they get there and the overall delivery and direction that makes this stand out and simply an entertaining watch. Both Smith and Holland are absolutely excellent here too, both totally selling their characters, Smith as the debonair but arrogant and self-conceited spy, a showman who fights fire with fire, hitting back as hard as they hit you, and Holland as the geeky oddball scientist who genuinely wants to make the world a better place. Their chemistry is absolutely spot on, even if many of the other characters really don't get a look in, but then in this case I'm not really complaining. It was a treat to see their characters develop and both Smith and Holland clearly invested their energy in making each stand out and give us some very worthwhile performances. I mean, having Will Smith as a pigeon is quite the novelty in itself, right? Quite interesting how they still managed to have this cool, or his, his cool trademark swagger injected into the character, even if, you know, his new crew is more flocked than he's used to. I love the very mad scientist vibe that it had, very Doctor No, mixed with plenty of Inspector Gadget style antics with an equally mad plot. I think it struck quite a decent balance between science and sci-fi, and we did, we did also learn a lot about pigeons along the way. Turns out they are quite the misunderstood vermin. Uh, the film certainly does for pigeons what Pixar's Ratatouille did for rats. Still, either way, I don't think I'd want either one cooking my dinner for me regardless even if one of them was Will Smith. It doesn't go too cute to cute either. It's an action adventure movie all the way. It completely stuck to its guns. There are some heartwarmingly cute moments. Don't get me wrong as it goes, but these are excellently kind of tempered to keep a light kind of fresh and energetic tempo. I never really expected to be taken with the pigeons as much as I was. The pigeon posse or flock is excellent. Um, thankfully, they don't speak. 
um, and they but understood just fine, you know, complete with their own kind of set of espionage skills, pigeon style, perhaps a bit too icky, but either way, I was in stitches. We also get another fantastic score by Theodore Sharpio, who I do seem to be liking more and more these days with each passing film. I've actually realised he's penned. Notably for me, um, penning the music behind the 2016 version of Ghostbusters, the film, but the music, uh, the 2015 similar spy escapade, Spy, uh, and the 2012 animated feature Pirates, an adventure with scientists, amongst others, of course. I only name these as they are the other movies in, with Sharpio's music that I've actually reviewed today and for which kind of the scores really did stand out. But indeed, it's bold, fast, frantic, and totally befitting of the spy genre, and over the top with its exuberant crescendos and adrenaline fueled style. Overall, this was a bold adventure with a quirky take on the spy genre that is simply that mad. It truly works, bringing everything that makes a truly brilliant spy film, fast-paced chases, outlandish villains, flash cars, gadgets and girls, or rather, cool chicks. It's like Bond with feathers, a clucky attitude, bringing a fantastically presented family action adventure with a big heart full of wacky gadgets. I love wacky gadgets. A high octane adventure and a totally ludicrous high stakes ending that offers a very different take on fighting back. It is totally, it has a totally haphazard style, conventional in a non-conventional way, if that makes any sense. All I know is that we absolutely loved it. So, that brings me to the end of this episode. Many thanks for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like. Please do hit that subscribe button for more movie reviews, trailer reactions, and other movie-related content. Absolutely loved having you here at Cypress Movie Talk. Definitely love to have you back. Most of all, just thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.